Breaking news, Llama 3, the best open source model in the world, just released. Now, of course, this is the language model from Meta AI, and it comes in 8 billion and 70 billion versions. By looking at the benchmarks, it is far above any other open source model out there. In fact, look at this. The 70B model destroys Gemini Pro 1.5 and Claude Free Sonnet. Both of them are much, much bigger than 70 billion parameters. And the craziest part is there will be bigger versions of Llama 3 than 70 billion. This is one of the historic days in the entire AI field. Like, this is crazy. And actually, we can experience it right now, only under certain conditions, which I will show you in a bit. And I'll also show you what Zach thinks about it on his new story. There's so much to get into. Now, let's go into it. This is the official Llama 3 release. They're really pushing this consumer product, which is basically a competitor to ChatGPT. As you can see, Meta AI looks like this. I've never used it. And I actually cannot use it because Meta AI is not yet available in your country. So I guess you have to be in the USA, maybe in the UK. But yeah, let's look at the announcement. What's crazy is that it actually is not a mixture of experts. Llama free models take data and scale to new heights with over 15 trillion tokens and training data set seven times larger than the one used for Llama 2. Obviously, Facebook is sitting on insane amounts of data. I mean, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, there is, they have so much data. Only like really Google and maybe Microsoft can compete with this. But yeah, results in the most capable Llama model yet, which supports an 8K tonk. Okay, that's kind of low. Now this, this is what I'm really excited about. The 8 billion model, because all of you will be able to build AI agents with this. In fact, I plan on adding an entire new module into my build and deploy AI agents workshop, which by the way, is accessible inside of my community. So in the next few days, I'll add a brand new module that will use Llama 3 8 billion, as well as Llama 3 70 billion. Hopefully I can run this. Either way, if you want me to build AI agents with Llama 3, then make sure to join the community. It's the first link in the description. Now, let's continue looking at the benchmarks. 8 billion compared to Gemma 7b and 7b. It's interesting they went with 8 billion, you know, compared to 7, but that's just a small change. MMLU, complete destructions. I mean, oh my god, human evil double? This is crazy. People no are not gonna realize the significance of this. Like most of you, if you have like a iPhone 12 or a newer, you probably can run this on your phone. Today, we are upgrading Meta AI with Llama 3 our new state-of-the-art AI model that we're open sourcing. Beautiful. They're open sourcing it. And hopefully this means that they're also giving us the data sets because most open source models actually are not open source. They're simply open weights. To be considered fully open source, the model has to also release the data set. Otherwise you cannot reproduce um, the model. Open sourcing. And I'm gonna go deeper on Llama 3 in just a minute. But the bottom line is that we believe that Meta AI is now the most intelligent AI assistant that you can freely use. I mean, this is basically a fact. Like, look at this. They destroy Claude Free Sonnet. So, ChatGPT, free version of ChatGPT is definitely not the best. Like, if you still use Ch free version of ChatGPT, you have to change because even if you don't want to pay, like, look at this. Claude Free Sonnet is the free version in Claude.ai which is much better than GPT 3.5. And now Meta Llama 3, 70 billion, is going to be in Meta AI chat, which, look at this, is just better than Claude Free at Claude Free Sonnet at basically at every of these five benchmarks. And I mean, there's pretty decent diversity here, I would say. So if you're still using the free version of ChatGPT, you have to wake up because there are much better alternatives. Anyways, let's continue. To make Meta AI even smarter, We've also integrated real-time knowledge from Google and Bing. Okay, beautiful. So this, this is a competitor of not only ChatGPT, but more like Perplexity and Gemini. Like, really, Zuck is going after it. And what is this chain, man? <laughs> right into the answers. We're also making Meta AI much easier to use across our apps. We built it into the search box that's right at the top of WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. I mean, do you guys have this? I don't have this in WhatsApp. I tried finding it. Maybe it's because I'm from Czech Republic, but yeah, I don't have that. Facebook and Messenger. So anytime you have a question, you can just ask it right there. And we built a new website, meta. Okay, meta.ai, okay. Oh yeah. Anyways. AI uh, for using it from the web. We're also releasing a bunch of unique creation features. Meta AI now creates animations and it now creates high quality images so fast that it actually generates and updates the images for you in real time as you're typing. Uh, it's pretty- Okay, that's, what is that tool? That reminds me of, is that, is that Crea AI? There is, a, there is a tool that does this. I'm losing the name right now, but yeah, 
that that is pretty crazy that you can do this inside of Meta AI because you know they have the distribution. So once they roll it out to all countries, it'll be inside of WhatsApp Messenger, and so it'll be like super easily accessible everywhere, right? You don't even have to go to the other side. You just go the same way you message your friends or your mom or whatever. You just go there and ask the AI. So it's you don't even have to like build new habits, which is a big problem. It it sounds like a small thing, but like the reason why most people are not using ChatGPT after they try it is because they're used to going to Google, right? It takes time to develop a new habit and to rewrite an old habit. So this is really significant. And not many companies have the distribution of, you know, Zuck and Meta. Pretty wild. And you can go check it out now on WhatsApp or the website. We are investing massively to build the leading AI. And open sourcing our models responsibly is, is an important part of our approach. The tech industry... Huge shout out to Zuck, honestly, like... Even Elon isn't contributing as much as um, he says to the open source. Like, obviously, he open source Grog, but that was only after the public pressure, right? So, Zach is really the only tech giant that is willingly open sourcing models. And no matter what you think of Zach, obviously, like, he did some unethical options and, like, the way he runs his business is controversial. No doubt about it, right? Facebook is, like, has so much dirt on them. It's crazy. But in terms of AI, like... There aren't many people doing more for the open source movement than Zach, and I think that's honestly amazing, and he deserves a ton of praise for this, because I believe that closed source centralized AI is actually the greatest threat to humanity. It's not like some, you know, AI going rogue and deciding to kill us all. It's people with ill intentions, and not just ill intentions, just like selfish, like wanting to control what you think building the models and not letting them be open source. Like, I don't know about you, but I don't want anybody, if it's Sam Altman, Elias Satskiver, doesn't, doesn't matter. I don't want anybody to control what my model can say and what I have to think. Because if you interact with the model enough time, it will slowly reprogram how you think. And this is why open source models are absolutely key, essential, and they have to be the future. So shout out to Zach, he's the man has shown over and over that open source leads to better, safer, and more secure products, faster innovation, and a healthier market. And beyond improving meta products, these models have the potential to help unlock progress in fields like science, healthcare, and more. So today, uh, we're open sourcing the first set of our Llama 3 models. The first set, so more to come. 8 billion and 70 billion parameters. They have best-in-class performance for their scale. And we've also got a lot more releases coming soon that are going to bring multimodality and bigger context windows. Okay, that's good. We're okay, yeah. So, I mean, I was pretty pretty scared of this. Like, what is this, 8K? But yeah, if they bring us like 32K or even like 200K to match Claude, or maybe even more, that would be really, really useful. Also still training a larger dense model with more than 400 billion parameters. Ooh. Damn, 400 billion? <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to run that. That's even larger than Grok 1 model with more than 400 billion parameters. And to give you a sense of Llama 3's performance, this first release of the 8 billion... Because if you think about it, GPT-4 was finished training almost two years ago, like 20 months ago. So given like how much new techniques and just, you know, compute improvements and algorithmic improvements happened since then, I think you can achieve better performance with one fourth, roughly, of the parameters. GPT-4 is obviously unknown but it's reported to be like 1.7 trillion so 400 billion is a lot lower obviously but since we have much better understanding of what works and what doesn't it might seriously be better in gpt4 and if that's the case then like the world will change overnight obviously not like the outside world but like the trajectory of the world world because if the best ai model is an open source model how beautiful is that is already nearly as powerful as the largest Llama 2 model that we released. And this first release of the 8 billion is already nearly as powerful as the largest Llama 2 model that we released. I mean, that's insane. That's insane. I, I need to stress how insane this is. Look at this, 8 billion model. Like, all of you can run this on your machine locally. Nobody looking at your chats. Nobody controlling what you can and cannot say. You, you can use your own computer, compute, for free, running this model locally and get like almost better performance than Lava to 70 billion, almost 10 times larger model. This is really uh, like a massive step for the open source community. And this version of the 70 billion model is already around 82 MMLU uh, with leading reasoning and math benchmarks. The 400 billion parameter model um, is, is currently around 85 MMLU, um, but it's still training. 
Um, so we expect it to be industry leading on a number of benchmarks. We're going to write a blog post with more technical details on all of this. Okay, dude, that's, inc that's incredible. So let's, I mean, let's quickly look at this. So yeah, I mean, Meta, the 8 billion model just destroys everything in its class. It's not even close, like triple on math, like more than double on GSM 8K, 8K. human evil double. 1.5x on GPQA. I don't know if this is the diamond set or like the hardest set. MMLU, also destruction. Like, this is crazy. Okay. Llama 3. And guys, I wish they compared the parameter size. Obviously, these are proprietary models, so maybe they cannot like leak it publicly. I mean, I think Zach knows, but yeah. This is like, this is like, this is kind of fair, right? 8 billion, 7 billion. It's basically the same size, but this is not the same size. Like, these models are like 500 billion parameters plus. So, the fact that Meta, I mean, Llama 3, not only is competitive, but also better at many of these benchmarks. A comprehensive approach to responsibility. Determine use case, model level, define. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, uh, I can't wait for people to uncensor this completely. But yeah, I mean, they have to do this for... I mean, Meta is a trillion dollar company, so they have to have some of these public statements. But yeah, this is going to quickly become perhaps the most popular, uh, the fastest growing <laughs> repo. Okay, so I don't know what image model they're using inside of Meta AI. But yeah, I mean, if you want me to make a video testing this, um, let me know in the comments. And definitely subscribe because I sniped this news super fast. It's like 10 minutes after release. All right, we've seen this. We've seen this. These numbers are insane. I can't even imagine what the large ones will be. Looks like Mr. 7B might be dead as of today, though, and maybe even Sonnet, though. <laughs> My favorite is the huge gains in coding capabilities. I mean, yeah, why would you use Sonnet, which is probably going to be, like, a lot more expensive? And also speed. It's not just cost, right? It's also speed. Like, running a 70 billion model is much faster than running 500 billion model. So, yeah, we might see... I mean, go, oh my god. If they put this into Grog... Dude, if they put this here... Instead of Llama 2 70B, if they put Llama 3 70B and run it at the same inference speed, like write a code for a simple, I mean, Pong game, right? Look at this. The speed is crazy. Almost 300 to tokens per second. If they put Llama 3 70 billion into Grok on the Grok chips with Q, wow, the amount of applications. <laughs> I can't even imagine. In the coming months, we expect to introduce new capabilities, longer context windows, additional model sizes, and enhanced performance. And we'll, sh we'll share the La Llama 3 research paper, okay? Our goals for Llama 3, we set out to build the best open models that are on par with the best proprietary models. Beautiful, I mean, I, I can't think of a better vision than this. It's crazy. We wanted to address developer f feedback to increase the overall helpfulness of Llama 3, and are doing so while continuing to play a leading role on responsible use, blah, blah, blah. We are embracing the open source ethos of releasing early and often to enable the community to get access to these models. I mean, is that really true, though? Early and often? Like, wasn't Llama 2 released almost a year ago? Doesn't feel that often to me. Could be like every six months. Obviously, it's much easier said than done, but yeah. Uh, the text-based models we are releasing today are the first in Llama 3 collection. Our goal is the near future multilingual and multimodal. State of the art performance, yes, we've seen that. Okay, what is this? Meta 3. It's, why are they putting the meta? It's always so confusing. Llama 3 instruct human evil. So yeah, right now we can see that GPT-4 Turbo is the most capable model. We do not have the Llama 3 here because it released like 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. If the model, if the 400 billion model actually surpasses GPT-4 Turbo on the LLM arena, that would be insane. Okay, so it destroyed Cloud Free Sonnet, which is crazy because it's much higher. Mistral Medium also destroyed even more. GPT-3.5, so this is why I'm telling you, if you are using a free version of ChatGPT, like, you are falling behind, like, actually. Look at this. This is a 70 billion model. Like, GPT-3.5 is like 180 billion or something. More than twice the size. And compared to Mixtrol 8x7b, okay, Mixtrol obviously released this model like a few days ago, literally like five days ago, maybe four days ago, and now it's basically obsolete. Wow, the AI field is really ruthless. Model architecture. In line with our design philosophy, we opted for a relatively standard 
Decoder only transformer architecture in Llama 3. Compared to Llama 2, we made several key improvements. Llama 3 uses a tokenizer with a vocabulary of 128k tokens, which is quite high, I would say. I don't know, it's like tick token from OpenAI, I think it's like 50k. That encodes language much more efficiently, which leads to substantially improved model performance. To improve the inference efficiency of Llama 3 models, we've adopted grouped query attention, GQA, across both the 8 billion and 70 billion sizes. We trained the models on sequences of 8192 tokens using a mask to ensure self-attention does not cross document boundaries. Training data. Okay, large high quality training data set is paramount, of course. We invested heavily in pre-training data. 15 trillion tokens, all collected from publicly available sources, okay. So hopefully Zach will not have the same moment as uh, Mira Murati. Seven ta yeah, seven times larger than Lama. Didn't they say four times? Oh yeah, four times more code, okay, yeah. To prepare for upcoming multilingual use cases, over 5% of the Lama free pre-trained data sets consists of high quality non-English data. I mean, <laughs> they, they say it as, as if it was like impressive number, like 5%, but like, that's still like so low, right? Which mean, that means 95% is English. Okay, yeah, so more about the data, pre-training, fine-tuning. The open source community is definitely going to beat GPT-4 in a matter of weeks. <laughs> Christmas came very, very early. But yeah, this released 53 minutes ago and I need to watch this. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, then please subscribe. And also, if you're interested in building agents and want to take AI seriously, I mean, we have many more courses and workshops than on just agents. I mean, Mid Journey Masterclass, Advanced ChatGPT course, and so much more. So if you want to really be at the cutting edge of AI and want to be in a community of people who are all taking AI seriously, then make sure to join. It's the first link in the description. Thanks for watching.